Hi everyone! Welcome again to day two of Video Vacation Bible School. This is VBS for anyone who missed in-person Bible school but still wants to join in the fun. Today we're going to sing some songs again. We will hear a Bible story. We'll watch a movie with kids like you. And we will do a craft project. All right, everyone, have a good day. And remember, God hears you, and you are treasured. Today's Bible point, if you remember, was, and let's see if you can read this with me. God hears you. We know that, right? God hears you, and God hears me. He hears us all the time. And He hears us, and how does He hear us? What do we have to do so that He can hear us? Ideas? Pray? Yeah. We can talk to Him through prayer. How else can He hear us? By reading the Bible. By reading. How else? By singing. Praising him, yeah, just by even having a silent prayer. That's what's so amazing. God has two ears and he can hear everybody talking to him at the same time. That's what's so great. And let's read our song together. I love the Lord because he hears my voice. Oh, isn't that great? He yeah. hears our voice. And then also this part. And my prayer for mercy. That means even if you've done something wrong, God's not going to blame you for it. In fact, instead, what does he do? He forgives you. Isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah, and we can find that in Psalm 116, verse 1. Now, my friends, today, I have to tell you, Saul is out trying to find David. And do you know why that is? It's because he has found out that he's going to be the king. <gasps> Yikes, and guess what? He is really, really angry. So angry that he's trying to kill him. And so right now, David is out in the wilderness with about 600 people, and I'm not sure it's safe here in this house. So I'm thinking that we should probably go out in the wilderness too 
and see if we can find a better place to hide. Because if Saul finds us, if he knows that we're David's friends, he might try to hurt us too. So I'm thinking, let's go ahead and um, pick up your mats, and let's very quietly, you can follow behind me, and then when you're ready to go into the wilderness. Get up, get up. Here we go. Stay with your group. Stay with your group, please. All right. You guys ready? Yes. Yeah. All right, here we go. Be careful now. I don't know. Open. It comes to an opening. This all might be over there. Some people were hiding out over here, and I need to find out who they are. Oh, yeah. Well, we're your friends. We're not going to hurt you. Okay. So, if you're my friends, then I can tell you that I'm feeling a lot of pressure and fear. Do you guys know what pressure is? Yeah. Like, uh, what, what, uh, something just to you? Yeah. Exactly. Yes. It's too much. In fact, so, yeah. why don't we take our hands right now and put them together? for some pressure, showing that, whoa, this is pressure. Yeah. Okay, that's what that feels like. That's how life feels right now for me. Oh, no. Things are hard. Why? What's happening? Well, not long ago, my man and I came to this little town, and we discovered that the Philistines, they're a big, powerful army. Well, they sure are. They were stealing from the people there. So I asked God if I should help the people in the village. God listened. And he told me, go to fight the Philistines. Now, I've heard those Philistines are very mean. They're big, and they're a very bad army to be to deal with. I know, right? So my men were afraid. Mm. But God gave us victory. And it was so good, it felt so great to be able to help. Well, then why are you worried? Well, 
first I have the world's biggest bully chasing me, and that's Saul. We know that, right? Yeah. Saul is the biggest bully. Oh. And he has a whole army besides just him. Oh, no. So I want uh, family to scoot a little bit closer to each other. Okay, so if you're a brother and sister, if you could scoot closer to your brother and sister, that would be great, okay? So you're feeling pressed. I thought that we help these people in the village, but then I asked God if we were safe there. Hey. God heard me and said, nope, I'm not safe there. Uh -oh. So then, so then the, the village leaders are going to turn you in. Wow, the village leaders are going to turn us in. Now I feel even more pressured by the people that I just helped. Oh my gosh, so what do you do? What do you do when you all, have all this pressure, David? How do you feel, how do you calm yourself? What What do you do? He says, well, you know, when uh, I can always talk to God, and he hears every word I say, and because he loves me, I know he cares about what I tell him. So, uh, you know what I did? I wrote down a prayer. I wrote it on this on this scroll here, and uh, so I've been writing this. And if it's okay with you, I'd like to read some of it. Is that okay? Yes, read it. Okay. Read it. And as I read it, there, I'm going to pause between some of the statements, and when you do, you could start spreading out a little bit. So you're pretty close together right now. So that's what you can be. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Bend down, O oh Lord, and hear my prayer. Answer me, for I need your help. Oh, what a relief. We know that God is with us so we can separate just a little bit. That pressure is relieving just a little bit so you can separate yourself from your family. Mm -hmm. Okay. So protect me, for I am devoted to you. Ooh, so go ahead and separate a little bit more because we know God's protecting us. That's save, right. Save me, for I serve you and trust you. Oh, we know that God is with us, right? Because we can trust him. So you can separate a little bit more. Okay, and you are my God. Just knowing that God is with us, right? He's our God. That's the best. You can separate yourself a little bit more. That's something you can trust and believe. Mm -hmm. So listen closely to my prayer, O oh Lord. Hear my urgent cry. I will call to you whenever I am in trouble, and you will answer me. Oh, what a relief. We know that no matter what, God will hear us when we call, right? When we talk to him. So you, that takes the pressure off. You can take a little bit more. And we know that he's with us always. You can, you can separate a little bit more and you're back to your regular spots. Wow. Yep, yep that's right. Then whenever you're sad or when you're happy, when you're in trouble, or if you're on top of the world, God hears you. And you are treasured. You know, I have to ask you something. So it sounds like you did a lot of writing of I did. prayers. So it sounds like he didn't just, David doesn't just speak his prayers. He even writes his prayers down. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Well, in the Bible, did you know that there's a whole lot of, of David's prayers and songs in the Bible? Yeah, so in, um, here's one. Let's see if you can read it together. Can you read it with me? The Lord gives me everything I need. I will not be afraid because he always protects me. Goodness and love will always follow me. Psalm 23. Hey, you wrote that. I did. And, you know, we don't just go to God when we're in trouble. We go and we pray to him when we have thanks and we have praise to offer up. And he even had some more. Here's another one. The whole world belongs to the Lord. Everything and everyone are his. They who seek God are blessed. For he is the mighty one. Psalm 24. Now, isn't that a great message for us? And you believe that with your yes, whole heart. absolutely. Oh, and that's because, you know, God, he knows. Remember, he knows David's heart. He knew that David was the one who loved him. And his whole heart was filled and with God's love. And now here's one when it sounds like maybe you were frightened and you were afraid. It says, look at me and be kind to me. I am lonely and upset. I am worried about my problems. Protect me and save me. I am trusting you. 
Yeah, that was from Psalm 25. And that's exactly how I'm feeling now because Saul is right around the corner. He's looking for me with his army. Yes, and you know that you're protected, right? Because yes, God I do. is with you. Yep. Oh, well, I think we learned something from David today. We can say our prayers to God, He hears us. We can also write our prayers, and we can sing our prayers to God too, right? And He is always listening. Oh. Thank you, David. Thank you for this good message. Oh, you're you're very welcome. Thank you. But I think the best, the most important thing that we need to also remember is that we are children of God, right? And we are treasured by Him. He loves us so very, very much. Glad you flew back to see us at Treasured VBS. Wow, the first day was definitely something to squawk about. Meet Ruby, a flashy, splashy macaw. You can find her and her fine feathered flock from the southern part of North America all the way down into South America. In the rainforest, their bright, beautiful feathers blend right in with the flowers and fruit way up in the trees. At a glance, you might just see flashes of blue, red, or yellow. But God made each macaw a little different. If you look closely, you'll see that each macaw's facial feathers are unique, a little like your fingerprints. Of course, Ruby and her fine feathered friends don't need fingers. They have these talented toes. Their fabulous feet grab hold of fruit, nuts, and seeds they love to snack on. And of course, she's bananas about her beak. God made macaw beaks so strong that they can crack coconuts. <laughs> Just try that with your hands. Plus, Ruby's beak can even act like another foot, helping her climb. Now, if you thought that was amazing, her squawk will really give you something to talk about. Ruby's buddies love to gab way up in the trees. In fact, if you walk through the rainforest in the morning, you'd hear some of her noisiest neighbors. Aren't they wonderful? 
Macaws can't actually speak words like you do, but they can imitate human speech. Maybe they just wonder why you're so quiet. Open up your beak and speak. Hmm, maybe you feel like you're squawking. I mean, talking and no one's listening. Or you need a friend who will listen. Maybe you're not sure what to say sometimes when life seems hard. When you open up your beak and speak, God is always listening. God's ears are always open. He hears you if you're loud and excited or if you feel like being quiet. The Bible is full of riches that tell us that God is listening. Check this out. I love the Lord because He hears my voice and my prayer for mercy. God hears you. You are treasured. Today, we're heading to the island of Bohol in the Philippines. Okay. In the Philippines, not all kids get to go to school and learn, especially if they have a disability. And a disability that a lot of kids have in the Philippines is deafness. Being deaf means you aren't able to hear. So when you hear cars honking their horns or your teachers talking in school, kids who are deaf can't hear that. Deaf kids may not be able to hear with their ears, but they can talk and listen with their hands. Deaf people can use something called sign language. Sign language turns special hand motions into different words. How cool is that? Thankfully, in the Philippines, a group of people started a school just to help deaf kids get an education. They teach classes in sign language so everyone can learn and communicate. The school director found out that a little boy named John wanted to join their school. So he went out looking for him. So he went looking for John and his father. We went over to a little bakery by the highway and we told him we're looking for the father of the little deaf boy, that's all we knew. And a guy named Jojo showed up. And a young man was very open and very interested in us trying to help his son John into school. And so we asked if he could, we could meet John. So he took us around the back of the bakery. Jojo has three little girls and John, the little boy. And they all sleep inside this garbage pile. My heart went out to these little kids. Finally, he found John. There he is. <laughs> Hi. Even though he couldn't hear, John was very happy to see them. The school even donated new clothes for John to wear. <laughs> I think he likes them. Even though John had never used sign language before, he learned it very quickly. John is now in school, in art school in Loong. Uh, we just found him last Saturday and it's uh, really very uh, fast. This morning, uh, when he just arrived in the office, we show him the dorm where he will stay. We introduce him to his uh, new teachers, and the teachers are very, also very helpful, and introduce him to his classmates. Then his classmates teach him some sign language. We made a sign name for him. He is very happy now that he is going to school. It seems like he showed willingness and interest in his study. Isn't it amazing to see how John communicates with his teachers and how they hear him through his hands? In the Bible, the book of Psalms tell us, I love the Lord because he hears my voice and my prayer for mercy. Johnny's only been in school for a couple months and he already knows a lot of sign language communicates really well. 
What is this thing right here? What's this? A tree, right. And then that's what's one of these. Tree, leaf, leaf, yeah. Where, or you see, oh, you see a boat, a boat out there, right, right. So he's learning all the words, very fast, two months. <laughs> no crab there, out there, you know. There. Ah, yeah, there's a the crab there, see him? John doesn't say words like we do, but God hears everything he says. God is listening to you too. Whether you speak out loud or whisper a prayer in your heart, God hears you. You are treasured. All right, so I've got a question for you. What is your favorite sound? I bet you've never thought about that. What's your favorite thing to hear? Music. Music, okay. Heard music. 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 Music? What about your mom's and dad's voice? Yeah, I like that. Yeah? I like that. You like your mom and dad's voice? You guys said music? Yeah, it'd be really hard to live in a world where you couldn't hear, right? Because especially now that, I mean, we do hear, there would be a lot we'd be giving up, right? We wouldn't be able to hear when someone's talking to us. We couldn't hear our friends. We couldn't hear a teacher um, instructing us or telling us. We couldn't even hear a car drive by. To us it would be silence. And that's kind of like what it was like for John, right? He couldn't hear. How was he able to talk though? Did you guys catch how he was able to talk? This Sign language. Sign language, right? He was able to talk using his what? It wasn't his voice. What was he able to use? Um, sign language like hands? Yeah. Um, I have one question. Does that mean he couldn't hear or talk? He could talk. Well, he could talk. But the issue is, when you can't hear language, when you can't hear someone saying words to you, he's not going to know how to talk. You guys know how to talk because you listen to your moms and dads talk to you. And you guys were able to pick it up. And pretty soon, you were able to speak just a few words and you put words into sentences. But when you're unable to hear, he's not going to be able to know how to say mom or dad or, you know, just simple words like that because he's never heard those words. He doesn't know how to put together. So what they do is um, they go to a special school and they're able to learn sign language. They're able to learn the sign for mom, the sign for dad. Um, I know a bit of sign language, not a lot. I can teach you Jesus. If you take your middle fingers and you put it to the palms of your hands, like where Jesus' holes are, and just do a touch and a touch to someone in sign language, that means Jesus. And there's hand motions for everything. There's hand motions for mother, there's hand motions for father, for food, um, for hunger. They're able to speak using their hands. And just because he's not able to hear, does that mean God can hear him? Yeah, even though he's not able to talk, God still hears him. He knows what's in his heart. He knows what... Um, what John's trying to say, and of course God knows sign language, so if he wants to pray using signs, God would know what he's saying. So just wanted to share a bit about that. You guys remember what, we just had it in a little bit, what that animal was that we saw this morning. You guys remember? Me, me, me. Okay. The parrot. The parrot, the macaw, right? All right, let's go see if I can find your treasure, buddy. And I will show you what your parrot, your macaw, looks like. And we can practice the Bible verse. So just like you had your uh, poison dart frog. Pogo? Uh, Pogo. Pogo. Um, here is Ruby. And she even kind of looks like a Ruby, right? Our little treasure today. And then just like uh, Pogo on the bottom. Is your guys' Bible verse that you guys can read, or your parents can read, you can't read, that's okay. All right, let's see if we can practice this one a few times. All right, I, I love the Lord because he hears my voice. 
Perfect. All right, let's practice that a few times and then we can do it silent. I, sorry, I, I love, love the Lord, the Lord because, he hears because he hears my voice. My voice. All right, I, I love, love the, Lord the Lord because he hears my voice. My voice. All right, let's see if we can say it silently, okay? Today we learned, and this is true, day or night, our God hears you. You can whisper, sing, or shout. Be extra calm, or let it out. Be sad or happy, scared or brave. That's the word from our friend Dave. David was a hunted man. Hiding out was his best plan. Afraid King Saul might find his lair and use an axe to part his hair. David had done nothing wrong. He'd strummed a harp and he'd sung a song. But King Saul was a jealous king and those guys did disturbing things. So David ran and David hid. He and his friends went off the grid. Sometimes they hid behind the trees and that could be a squishy squeeze. Behind the rocks they sometimes peeked, or sneaky slither as they sneaked from cave to cave where they could hide and be quite safe once snug inside. David trusted God's great love and counted on help from above. But David heard about some guys who needed help or they would die. So David asked God what to do. Would he be safe? Would God come through? David knew that God is near, and David knew that God would hear. What David knew, we all know too. God hears our prayers, and God will do those things that only God can do, like hold us close and pull us through. So remember, God hears you. So you talked about David again today, right? Yeah. Was David having a really good time? No. no. Things were not going well for David, no. And when David was scared, what did he do? Uh, what did you say? Pray. He prayed. Yeah, I thought that's what you said. Yeah, he prayed and prayed to God for to help him. Um, so, did God hear him? Yeah, God did hear him. Now, I have a question for you. When you pray, do you have to be down on your hands and knees with your hands folded and your head bowed and your eyes shut? No. No. That, it's okay because, yeah, that makes you that you're only concentrating on one thing. But if I want to walk down the street and thank God for that beautiful tree there, is it a good thing for me to pray with my eyes closed? Yeah. <laughs> if I'm walking down the street? No, 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 no. No, because I might walk off the sidewalk and get hurt. Or let's say I'm in school and I'm worried about my math test and I want to talk to God about it. Should I all of a sudden get out of my desk and get on my hands and knees and say, Dear Jesus, please help me with my math test today. Help me remember all the stuff I've learned. Amen. No. No, your teachers, well, your teachers probably going to interrupt you before you even get to the end and say, Amara, you can't interrupt us like that, right? Yeah. So, how can you pray to God then? In your, in your heart or in your head. Yeah can think the words in your head and not say them out loud and God still hears you. Isn't that amazing? So yeah, we can pray to God all the time, anytime and ask for his help 
thank him for beautiful things anytime and he will hear us now when we hear things what do we use our ears. our ears and as long as your ears work right you should be able to hear this shouldn't you yes. so today we're going to make a shaker that reminds us every time we look at the one end that god hears us every time we look at the other end god is listening listening all right so your shaker will be all white now there is no wrong way to make this unless you try to take this white stuff off if you take the white stuff off you ruin it it's gonna fall apart when you get your shaker i want you to give it a shake and see if you can tell me one end has one kind of thing in it and the other end has something else in it so see if you put it up to your ear and listen if you can tell what's in one end and what's in the other end there is rice in it and Zeden you're right there's beans so one end has beans and one end has rice so when you shake them together and get it all mixed up you'll hear two couple different things now this would be kind of cool just like this we can shake it really fast or we can get a beat going like god is listening 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 and we can do all sorts of different beats right and while it's cool it might be a little cooler if we added some color to it so if you can see mine here i took colors and i decided to make stripes i made red yellow and green and blue stripes used every one of my crayons only take out your crayons now, right now. Right don't now. don't your put crayons. your stickers don't on stick yet, yet. Just get your crayons because it's easier to color it first and then put the stickers on, okay? So you can say, eh, I don't really like yellow. I'm not going to use yellow. You can say, oh, I don't want to make stripes. I want to make flowers. You can say, I want to pick up all four crayons at the same time, which Daniel used his blue and his yellow at the same time and was making a pattern. You can try any different thing. You can say, I want to leave this part white. You can do anything you want on it. I wouldn't color the ends with the words or you're not going to be able to read the words. Okay? But if you miss and hit the words like I did here, it's not going to matter because I can still read them. Okay? So get them all colored the way you want them. And then you can put your Ruby the Parrot sticker on there. And I put the on there. Yeah, and your toucan sticker on here. And then we have some gems to remind us that we are treasured by God. And, and, and also, you can cover this part. Too. Yeah, you can do that. Now, you can do, I left my middle open so I could hold on to it and still see my stickers. You can do that or you can put stickers all over. You can decide, I want to hold mine by one end, so I'll put all the stickers up here. You can do anything you want. And then sometimes, I did mine a couple weeks ago, and my little bird feather wants to poke up. So when it starts to come off, I put both hands around and squish it, and all my stickers stick again. Nice. <laughs> Priceless treasure God knows me, God hears me God is my comfort I am His and there's nothing better Forgiven and chosen forever I am a treasure
Touches me when I pray He always makes a way I am His and He is mine I am the prize He came to find